I'm all up in the clouds when I'm pouring rain Ain't never coming down unless you call my name Yeah, we should take it slow just like day by day Like day by day So before we start any makeup, your basis for a dewy, for a glowy, for a glass skin base, whatever you want to call it, is going to be your skincare and that's going to be wholly dependent on your individual skin and its skin type. So really get to know your skin and tailor for your own skin before you jump into a trend or trying this glowy skin base or moving more towards a dewy finish because it is all dependent on what you're starting with and that is your skin. So so for me in the summer I have a very normal skin type it can get a little dry in places if I don't hydrate it but in the center I always get quite oily so for me I can get away with using kind of lightweight hydrating primers and lotions on my skin so the first thing I did was put some eye cream on under my eyes everything will be listed down below for you guys if you're curious and have a similar skin type to me I also put on the good molecule silicone free priming moisturizer this is a very nice lightweight based moisturizer just to give some hydration and set the skin up for makeup and then of course on top of that I put some SPF this is a beachy SPF in 50 and I also have some Cordelay lip conditioner on my lips as well and I've let that all sink into my skin in layers so first I applied the eye cream and the lip conditioner I let it sit for five minutes then I put the good molecules on top of that and let that sit for five minutes and then on top of it I've got my SPF which is why I'm looking kind of shiny at the moment and I'm letting that sink into my skin and now I'm ready to prep myself for some makeup. If you're doing this on an everyday basis, you can totally do this while you are eating your breakfast, just apply your skincare and then go eat your breakfast and then apply your makeup is what I tend to do. And that way I can give enough time for my skincare to settle in and also apply a light dewy base too. So it is totally doable in realistic scenarios because I do this pretty much every day um, with just a few steps added in to make a dewy base. So for foundation, what I want is a very skin-like finish. And for that, I'm using a pretty inexpensive foundation. This is EX1 Invisiwear Foundation. If you have olive skin, I pretty much think this foundation is kind of essential in your collection. So go check out my video on that. And what I'm doing is I'm mixing it into a liquid highlighter and this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter in Peach Fizz. And all I'm doing is taking a teeny tiny blob of the Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter and I'm going to mix the two together to make a little dewy concoction on the back of my hand. And all I've done is put half a pump of the EX1 foundation because like I said we want a kind of natural finish to the skin so we don't want to use too much product and as you can see this is a lot of foundation for half a pump and then all I'm gonna do is just pop this all over my face and blend it in with a beauty blender when you're going for a lighter coverage I do suggest a beauty blender some people just prefer it anyway um, but beauty blenders just soak up a tiny bit more product and because they're usually wet when you use them they kind of hydrate the face as well at the same time which is a nice little step to take. So I'm just using my e.l.f. sponge and really, really lightly just patting into the skin this foundation. And that's how much product I have left on the back of my hand. So half a pump and a little blob of highlighter goes a very long way for lightweight dewy skin. And as you can see, it's sunken into my skin really well and giving me a lightweight finish. So I'm gonna focus on the under eyes next. And to do that, the first thing I'm taking is my Becca Under Eye Correcting Concealer. And this is a very, very lightweight peach based concealer. And I just put that where I need it. And it's usually in this first half and slightly into the inner corner as well and I just pat it in with my finger so for my under eyes I want something that matches my skin pretty well and also has a medium to high coverage because my dark circles are quite pronounced so what I'm doing is I'm taking my Zoeva authentic skin finish uh, concealer and this is a very nice kind of as it suggests in the name it's very skin like 
and I'm just applying a couple of dots underneath my eye and I'm gonna pop it in the places that don't need too much of a high coverage like the spots that I have and I'm gonna use a different concealer for the spots and I'm just taking that same sponge that we used with the highlighter and foundation concoction and I'm gonna pat this concealer into place and just focus it mainly bringing it in as I blend so I'm starting on the inner at the outer portion and I'm just tapping my way in and then I'm just blending the outer edges of this concealer out so the most coverage is here where I actually need it and then as I blend out it just gives a nice finish to the concealer I'm afraid to be alone What do I need to do to get some time with you? Okay, and then for these little spots that I have on my face, I just want a little more coverage than what the Zoeva has to offer. So I'm taking my Jouer Essential High Coverage Concealer. This is in the shade Honey, so it's a little goldeny. It's going to help cover any redness and darkness that is around my spots. Taking it on a little petite eyeliner brush and I'm just placing it onto these spotty areas. And any areas where I have some scarring as well. Now I'm not looking for the skin to be perfect by any means, I just want any of the big sort of spots and scars to be covered. And then I'm going to go in with my finger this time as opposed to a sponge because I want a bit more of a higher coverage here. And I'm just going to pop pat around where I've put the concealer down. Okay, so this is where we're at at the moment. Just keep in mind that this glow is slightly enhanced because of obviously the artificial lights that are on me. Once this look is done, I will show you it in natural lighting as well. Some of you are going to stop here because this is all you need to get a natural glow and you're going to go in with your other products and just powder down where you need. For me, I'm going to make sure that everything else I put on top of this face is going to enhance the glow even further. So what I'm doing first of all is going in with some blush and this is the Milk Lip and Cheek Stick in the shade Swish and it's a lovely sort of Barbie pink colour but it's kind of muted so it's not as strong as it actually appears in the tube and all I'm doing is just taking my finger that I've been using to pat out products and I'm just going to concentrate this where I want it on my cheeks. And because I'm using cream products and I have a couple more to go, I'm not going to powder just yet, I just want to get all my cream base down first. And I'm just taking whatever's left over on my finger and just patting it slightly across my nose because I like that sort of flushed look across the nose in the summer. Very, very lightly. And at this stage, we're almost there. There's just two more steps to take for our base to be complete and look really nice and dewy and give that glass skin effect. The thing that's going to really amp this up is the Kevin O'Quan. This is the Glass Glow Face in Cosmic Flame and it is this absolutely beautiful product. First of all, the packaging is absolutely stunning. It has these really nice dual chrome shifts in there, but it doesn't apply this way at all on the face. It's such an interesting product. So so it's got a nice little pump mechanism and I'm just going to take literally the smallest amount. So this is the amount of highlighter that I'm taking and it is a highlighter so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put three little dots where I want like the most amount of glow and then I'm, all I'm going to do is just use my finger to press into the skin and you want to use this as one of your final steps and use it in the places where you don't want to powder so don't take it too far down into your nasal area if that's where you're going to put some powder like I am and I'm just going to apply it there I'm going to take the smallest amount more just for this higher plane and I'm just hitting right here where I naturally glow just to enhance it slightly and this product is so nice because you don't need to work very hard to blend it 
and as you can see it gives a finish that isn't shiny at all it's not glittery it looks very very natural as if it's my own skin it's very non-detectable on the skin so again I'm taking a little blob just three little blobs and just spreading them out where I naturally glow and then just coming up onto the temples also And then with whatever's left on my finger, I'm just going on top of my nose, just here, and also here. And this is the finish that that product gave. Now bear in mind that this is going to be too much for some people. I can already tell some of you out there are going to be like, what on earth? That's way too much. But for me, this is perfect. And also bear in mind that I haven't powdered either. So it's going to look a little more shiny than what the finishing product is going to look like. So to powder, I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills powder. This is a loose powder in the shade Vanilla. And the first thing I'm doing is just going under my eyes and patting out any creasing from where the concealer might have settled into my under eyes. And then I'm going straight into my powder brush, which I've already loaded up and just very gently rolling and pressing this brush exactly where I want the powder because I don't want to interrupt all of this area where I've put the product down. And if you're like me, and you like to powder your nose area I just go in close to the no nasal area just here and it kind of takes away that sweaty look that sometimes you can get when you try and go for dewy looks and it ends up sweaty instead and again just pressing under the eyes where I want it I'm really making sure to blend this powder in And then once more I'm going to go on my forehead because I tend to get shiny there naturally but I don't want that shine. And setting my smart lines as well. Okay guys and there you have it this is a very natural lightweight glass skin finish to the look it doesn't take that long at all obviously I've talked through the steps but if I was to do this on an everyday basis which I often do it takes me 10 minutes tops to do it and it looks really really natural and I think just working in certain steps and making sure that you're putting products in strategic places for your skin type works really really well and stopping when you need to you don't need to complete all of these steps by any means these are the steps that i take because i can and my skin can take this much hydrating and dewy products but if your skin can't then you might want to step stop a few steps before you might want to apply a bit more powder and a little less of the glowy pr products so you can always take out like the illuminating highlighter from your foundation if you don't need it but as you can see it's given me a really really natural finish and this is something i would wear on an everyday basis if i'm running errands or i just want something light and finishing on the skin without being detectable and looking like makeup makeup do you know what i mean it's a very no makeup kind of look um, it's just amped up a little bit to emphasize some higher points and planes on the face and make the skin look really nice and healthy and dewy. But that is it for me today. Please feel free to share anything that you do differently or add into this kind of a routine to get that dewy glass glow finish kind of look, whatever you want to call it. I do hope you found this video informative. Stay safe everybody and I shall catch you in the next one.